you star code Brambi. Hey everyone, this is your monthly Bloxburg News. June 2022. Starting with the headlines, Robilts hosted an Outlaster event with Bloxburg content creators, and it was quite a mess, but it was also fun. We did get an unexpected summer update, and Adria finally tweeted. Number one. Robilt's Outlaster event. It was a nice day in June and Robilt hosted an Outlaster event. And competing in it was Zilgon, Froggy Hops, Feeberry, Fooberry, how do you say it? We say Phoebe and yeah, probably Phoebe. Anyways, Aquila, Robilt, Fulty, Ashley the Unicorn, the Panda Girl, Pita Bread, and me. Now, I was looking forward to that event for so long. I was like, we're gonna do this. I got this. I can go far in this. And then I ended up in a team with Froggy Hops, Pita Bread, and the Panda Girl. And I was like, I'm out. That's it. I'm out. They're gonna vote me out. So I was like, I'm gonna vote Froggy Hops just for fun. It's not gonna matter anyways, because we were the worst team at the start. So someone had to go out. And I was like, I'm the smallest content creator of them all. I'm gonna be out. I was right. And I got three votes against me. I was like, this is it. And then there was Redemption. Faulty won it. Congratulations, Faulty. I... I was hoping Faulty would win the underdogs, but he didn't. And I think, if I remember it correctly, I think Robils actually won it. Robils is really good at Outlaster. Probably that's why she hosted an event there. But we had fun. It was a fun experience. I'm just a little bit... Well, not, not a little bit. I'm actually really salty that I was voted out first. And I wish I could have stayed longer, but I had my time to shine. And uh, yeah, it was it was fun. <laughs> then next, we did have quite an unexpected summer update. I don't think anyone was expecting it to come on that date. I don't remember what date exactly it was, but it was so unexpected. Everyone was like, what? We have an update now. There's a new update. And they added new cars. And these cars became such a trend. We have above ground pools. And fun fact, the above ground pools have little decks. People were already making hacks with basic shapes to like show people how to add stuff on those decks, but they were actually glitched out. You are able to build on top of them, but somehow it didn't work in game. And so people were already making hacks on how to build on them. It was quite funny to see, but then it got fixed, luckily. Then some more pool stuff and garden stuff. The ability to color pool walls and floor, which was very welcome. Then gardening and plant weathering, that was such a blessing. We do not have to water fully grown flowers anymore. I'm trying to mention that as much as I can. We do not have to water fully grown flowers and plants anymore. Very important. Then the time changes, so if more people sleep on the server during the night time, the night will go faster and the day is a little bit slower. Very cool for all players. Doesn't really affect builders, so just a good update overall. Job uniforms were changed, minor UI and UX changes, and then major bug fixes as usual. Then the build of the month goes to Names Chloe. My goodness, that is an insane creation. So first of all, it's a pirate island. The value is $4.4 million and they have used 245% plot data. You can only imagine the detail, but I also imagine the lag on the server if this thing gets loaded in. So if I see this correctly, it was built over two plots and it actually looks insane. Looking at that shipwreck, there's actually so much to see on that plot. My goodness, that is an insane plot. I could never do that. They added stuff like gun shops as well, everything in the pirate team, and I think it turned out so nicely. It really comes on top above everything else. You cannot top this. That is an insane thing. They also made a little grave for Kate. I like the detail, I love that. Love the little funny things that they add to builds, but honestly, this build is so good. Like, I could never, I don't think a lot of us could do this. The ship and everything, I'm I'm just shocked at this point. Like, the builds are, are getting insane. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next thing. Our Queen Azria came back just to say, so I found a stash of old Robux codes. What should I do with them? And I thought it was important to mention that Azria tweeted, she used to be the Queen of Bloxburg and then she went to university. So yeah, I, I thought it was important to mention that she tweeted, she's still alive, so that's good. Haven't heard from her in a while though. Should definitely text her, but yes. Moving on to the trends now, this trend, I'm gonna say it, there is a new trend and it's fighting. 
somehow there is much more fighting in the community now than there used to be. There was always fighting and little dramas, but there is so much fighting in the community and in a world where there's already so much drama and injustice, it'd be nice to see the community actually come together and not attack each other's niches for a cloud or attention because there is a niche for everything in Bloxburg. Bloxburg became so big that there's gonna be different interests and everyone is creative in their own way and we need to respect that. And if you go and attack that person for not doing the same thing you do, that's very self-centered and that really shows your true colors. And if you don't have anything good to say, just don't say it and don't interact with that niche. If that is something that you don't like, there's always people that are gonna like it. And if it's not something for you, just don't give it any attention. Just let other people praise it. You do your thing, they do theirs. Just wanted to say that. I'm not gonna call out any names, not gonna call out any like niches that are making drama, but I think we all know what this is about. And I just wanna say, respect each other's craft. That's that's all I want to say about that. So anyways, that was your Bloxburg news for June, trying to keep it short. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.